I finished the four foot tall by 24 inch canvas with a copper and rust, iron rust patina. And I wanted to show you um, close up with the 3D stencil uh, what it actually did after I got it complete. You can see how I let some of it run on my final my final coat because I wanted to get a little bit of vertical movement. And that is the 3D. That's the 3D putty uh, on a damask stencil. And as I finished that out, I let that rust run. This is the other the second 3D stencil. Then up here, right here on the edge, is the third. And you can see I've let some of this last um, coat of iron uh, rust and drip because I wanted, again, I wanted to get some of that vertical, vertical movement happening. I have two coats of polyurethane on this. And I w I'm thinking I might wax it because I want to get a really old world glow. I'm going to take this off and show you the, the, second, the second vertical canvas that we worked on. So hang on to your hats. Nothing interesting back there, I'll tell you. This is the one that we did on uh, the vertical canvas. And you can see why it, it does totally different being vertical as you add your colors and let the uh, patina roll and drip. After that had started to drip, I saw a tree in there. And my husband says, you saw a tree, how do, you, how do you see a tree in that mess? Well, I saw a willow tree. And so I just started to, um, after that last coat was dry, I uh, polyurethaned it. Then I went back in and did more copper and rust. I rusted the tree uh, trunks and limbs so it gave it more presence. And then I did more drips and dots for the willow uh, as it came down. I haven't uh, polyurethane this yet because I don't know if I'm done. But this gives you the opportunity to see exactly what a vertical surface will do versus a horizontal surface. My, my kitchen countertops that you toured, horizontal uh, do much better with flooding and melding the colors together. The vertical surfaces, uh, controlling and manipulating the drip and the roll of the paint down the canvas and of the, um, the solution, the patina solution, is much more complicated. And it takes more time because I have to uh, work and stop and wait and work and stop and wait. But that is the vertical surface. You can see that it is very, very textured. The tree has gnarled and the limbs of the, the tree, the, the willow branches are dripping and it's just kind of an impressionistic, an impressionistic thing. 